Here we go. Oh, I've got so many more, you guys. Buckle up. Buckle up. Oh my god, hey, and welcome back to my kingdom of stagey isolation. So one thing that I've been doing while I'm in lockdown, waiting for this pandemic to pass so I can get back into a theatre, is spending a lot of time on social media, especially Twitter. And on stagey Twitter recently, there is one particular tweet that has been doing the rounds, and it's to do with controversial Broadway opinions. We're gonna have a read through these, we're gonna see what we think. At Stark Dreyfus tweeted, Broadway isn't dying because of bootlegs, it's dying because tickets cost too much to see a bad movie to musicals adaptation on stage. So this covers two of the topics that are getting talked about a lot on here. One of them is movies being turned into musicals on stage, and the other one is bootleg discourse. Now, I am someone who used to watch bootlegs, I'm someone who used to trade bootlegs, I will make a bigger video about this if this is something people want me to talk about. My opinion on bootlegs now is I don't think they damage the sales of shows. I think a lot of times they can help shows find an online audience. If you look at what has happened with shows like Be More Chill after the release of their first album. That's not why bootle bootlegs? Bootlegs. That's not why bootlegs are bad. Bootlegs are bad because they are illegally obtained recordings of performers at work without their consent. And a lot of performers complain about these, and then people saying, well, you're elitist by saying you don't want me to film you. Lorraine tweeted, if they don't make pro shots or some form of legal way for people, especially outside the US, to see Broadway shows, they can't complain about bootlegs. Yes, they can, because you're still filming illegally in their theatre without the consent of the actors and the creatives. Not all shows can afford to make pro shots. Not all shows can afford to distribute pro shots. The rights that go into doing that is a whole different conversation. Not many shows can afford that. Disney theatrical, yes, they have the Disney money. They can afford to do that with Newsies and with Aladdin and with all sorts of other shows. It is not a show's obligation to provide itself to you. If it's something like the National Theatre of Great Britain, then yes, that's publicly subsidised. They have an obligation to give art back to the people. And the, the theatre companies that have an ethos of wanting to give art to the people, that's excellent. I applaud that. Young people in theatre, affordable theatre. I love all of these things. I've spoken about these for years. But no one show is obligated to give itself to you. And it's entitled to expect some sort of obligation to that show. To say, I don't live in the US, but I need to be able to see that. And if you can't give me a pro shot, I'm going to watch a bootleg. No, that's not okay. It's not elitist of me to say that you do not have an obligatory right to someone else's intellectual property. It's just factual. At Please Find Kathy said, actors don't have to come to the stage door and if you get mad about them not doing so, you need to check yourself. For some, it causes bad anxiety. Very true, very true. Actors, again, there is no obligation, there is no entitlement. You have paid to see the show. You have not paid for the stage door experience afterwards and you are not entitled to that. And fans need to respect that from actors as well. At GCY Writes has also tweeted, I couldn't sit through the Hamilton boot even in my Hamilton phase. Not a show I'd want to see except maybe if it came here just for the play bill. Do you understand that one? I couldn't watch the bootleg during my Hamilton phase. It's not a show I want to see except for the play bill. I d I'm so confused. Also, is your app meant to say gay rights, but the A is a t C? I don't. I feel like this person tweets too fast and gets confused. Also, you don't have to watch the Hamilton bootleg because the recorded version is coming to Disney Plus in a few short weeks. July the 3rd. Set your timers. It's going to be great. Taylor at Taylor's Navi tweeted, Original cast doesn't equal automatically best cast. Perhaps just stand actors for their talent and not for whether or not they're as good as the original with one of those emojis where they're painting the fingernails. Like, I think sometimes people can gatekeep shows by saying things about the original cast. I see this a lot with Be More Chill as well, people say like, oh, but I preferred the New Jersey version and I can't believe they've changed that. And I'm like, yeah, it's been years. Move on. It's been years. Get over it. Love Steph, Missing Broadway tweeted, the West End deserves the same amount of hype and press coverage as Broadway. I stand Broadway more because it's easier to stand because there's more online content. I am, listen, I am working on it. I am trying to deliver you the West End content. And as soon as the West End is back in action, me and so many other people will be back there bringing you the West End online content that you so desperately crave. Don't you worry. At Grace Mewitt, six alumnus and understudy and Anne Juliet tweeted, comparison of understudies, swings and casts will be wrong forever. I agree with this. I think there's no need to pit off understudies and different cast members against each other and say, oh, I prefer this person, this role, this person, whatever. Everyone brings different things to different roles. I think shows like Six 
where performers are encouraged to give their own take on the character and even wearing different costumes. And it's so personal to them. Like, it's not just their take on the same thing. It's it's completely their own performance. I think that's a great thing. There are a lot of shows where performers are told they have to make it as much like the performance they are understudying as possible. And I don't like that. I like when they're free to be individuals and bringing something different to it. I love seeing understudies. I love seeing different interpretations, different performances. It's great. Altos need more appreciation. I appreciate you, Altos. I, you know, you're doing harder work. Alto harmony lines are, we all know what alto harmony lines are like, and you are, you're doing God's work. Tom Scanlon has tweeted, swings have superpowers and should be paid twice as much. I have no idea what swings are paid, but this gives me the sense they're not paid enough. And if that's true, then yes, they should be paid twice as much. What if they were paid for like every track they cover? <gasps> That would be lucrative. God, can you imagine Grace Mewitt in Six making like six times normal salary? Oh, God, I'd love that for them. Sadly, I don't think it's true. And this one to finish. I'm on to my last opinion. Scott Patrick Wilson has tweeted, Capitalism has stolen theatre's souls and it will not return until all people can afford to sit and feel welcome in a Broadway theatre. Theatre is a microcosm of our world and you can see that by who can afford to pay a thousand dollars to hear Bette Midler gargle her way through Hello Dolly. <laughs> oh my god! The shade! What did Bette Midler ever do to you? You're not the wind beneath her wings, that much is for sure. Has capitalism stolen theatre's soul, or was it always intrinsically capitalist? Do we need a communist overthrow in the theatre community? Do we need to take back the power, storm the red... Um... Palace theatre? If you disagreed with any of these opinions, feel free to fight me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on any of the topics we've covered today. If you would like a fuller version of any of these videos, me talking about bootlegs, me talking about diversity casting, any of these things, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you head over to Twitter, quote tweet that tweet for yourself and share your controversial musical theatre opinions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more stagey content coming very, very soon. I hope everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day.